Now we're gonna talk about training your jump shot, how to work on it the best way, and then we're also going to break down a lot of form stuff from your feet all the way up through your follow through, which we'll talk about in a second. But the first thing you need to think about when you're shooting is that it's more important to have great form and make shots than it is to go super fast. So when I'm working with a player, I would rather them go 50 to 75% speed somewhere in there and make a lot of shots, make 70, 80, 90% of their shots at that speed and then speed it up as we go as opposed to if you're going full speed in your shooting drills and you're only making one out of 10 shots, something's wrong with your form and something's wrong with your technique, so you need to slow it down. So make sure as you're training your shot, you want to emphasize form and making shots first, and then as you start to get comfortable, you start to speed it up. Don't go the other way. You gotta make, you gotta make sure you're making shots. We're gonna talk about different shooting principles. So we'll talk about hand placements and your landing and the width of your feet and the follow through angle and the release point in your hand. We're gonna talk about all these things, but at the end of the day, all great shooters have unique shots. So they may share things in common, like elbow under the ball or a decent follow through, but some great shooters are gonna follow through this high other shooters are gonna follow through a little bit lower. Some shooters are gonna be perfectly square at the rim. Other shooters might be slightly twisted off to the side just a tad. Some shooters are gonna bring the ball up here before they go up for their shot, um, although I don't really recommend that. I guess to say some shooters are gonna have a higher release point and then other shooters are gonna have a lower release point. So there's a lot of different ways people's or shooters, their shot is gonna look different but there are some principles that you must apply to your shot. So on one hand, there's principles that you really need to take into consideration, but then on the other hand, you need to understand that your shot is unique, and as long as you are making shots, that's really all that matters. The third point before we get into specific techniques and specific form is to self-diagnose and film your shot. So the first point, self-diagnose, is when you're shooting, you have to realize where, or you gotta think, where am I missing my shot? Is it long, is it short, is it left, is it right? If you are consistently straight, but you're missing long or short, that's good news, because now all you have to adjust is your power. You either have to shoot it shorter, or shoot it longer and get more power to it. So if you're missing, that means you're straight, if you're missing just short or long. If you're missing left or right, that probably means you're twisting your body too much, your follow through might be going off to the side, instead of straight at the rim. You might be flicking it off your side fingers or you might be spinning your wrist. We'll look at a bunch of different things that cause misses to the side. But you gotta self-diagnose it. So as you're shooting, if you shoot five shots in a row and they're all short and they all hit the front of the rim and fall short, you gotta think, all right, let me diagnose my shot. I was straight every time, but I was short. Since I'm short, I need more power in my shot. So that could be, you know, get more legs into it, snap your wrist harder. A Bunch of different things could get more power into your shot. But you gotta realize, how you're missing and why you're missing and then correct those mistakes. And then the second part of this is filming your shot. So when you're filming your shot, it's um, like coaches could be working with you and they can say, hey, your follow through is way too high and it needs to be a little lower. Well, if you don't really see your shot, you may feel like your follow through is here, but in reality, it could be up top. Or when you're shooting, um, one of you, you know, your error could be that your feet are pointed in opposite directions, but they might feel like they're lined up in the same direction. You're not going to be able to see the truth of your shot until you film your shot. So make sure when you're filming your shot, you want to film it from this angle, like I'm straight onto the camera right now. You want to be filming it from this angle. You want to film it from the side so that you can see if your shoulders are going back or if you're jumping backwards. Um, you want to make sure your hands under the ball, you can check your follow through angle when you're recording to the side. And then same thing, you wanna record it from this side and then you also wanna record your shot from the back. So now you can look at things like sometimes shooters they'll follow through and bring their arm across or sometimes they'll twist too much or sometimes they'll go up into their shot and this guide hand will flick the ball like that. Um, so when you're, when you're recording your shot and working on your shot, record it from all those different angles and then you can get good details and you can gain good knowledge on what your shot really is in reality.